said, because the pot full of outcropping right here. And you can always just do outcropping, but just digging around. And then we can smooth this out a little bit. A little, a little glue just go ahead and just lift it up like that just peel it off it uh, fairly easy a little bit of a nice area here where we put some bushes or trees all through there and we'll just give a little bit more more vertical this cliff I want to have a little bit of a dangerous cliff in here you know, if I'm going to have hikers come up in here, you know, if this were going to be a park, which it actually is going to be a park to a certain extent, and hikers come up here and they get to see all the trains. But, you know, they got to watch out for the scary drop right here. You know, they could get hurt. Then be careful. <laughs> so, a little bit of a white knuckle, small white knuckle cliff and actually have a bigger cliff over there which I'm gonna plan on having people propelling down it. As I was looking at uh, what I'd done yesterday, I kind of felt or saw another ravine coming on here. So I'm gonna get some through here. Here, do is continue it on and have it almost implied that it's going to meet down here. So just go ahead and start cutting it right there. Culvert right in here, let water drain off. Mountain. Start tearing up some of that. So I'm be able to do a around, give you a different angle of what's going on here. Let's see what's going on.
steps in here. I'm going to kind of step down a little bit. Clips right in here. And again, you, know, you can kind of see the line where the two pieces of foam meet, but we'll fill these in with the spackling. Once you paint it over, you won't see that. And that's what I'll uh, do in a later video shot of how to hide these lines so it's not, uh, not that obvious. Put a little bit of a line here. there for some trees to grow and to kind of break up the monotony. glue some plaster castings, plaster castings here, the impression of boulders sticking up. 